Aloha, my friends, and welcome to the all-new series from Maui Craft Kitchen entitled Ma! The Meatloaf! In this series, we're taking your average, everyday meatloaf and putting some new, modern pep in its step. Today's recipe for pork meatloaf with mushrooms and garlic will surely make you the most famous person at the dinner table. But wait! Act now and I'll even include a creamy gravy recipe to go with the original meatloaf recipe at no extra cost. Just pay shipping and handling. So get ready to get your loaf on, because we're going to work some of that Maui magic and get right down to it. If you've been watching my channel already, you'll know that I prefer to grind my own meat whenever possible. If you don't have a meat grinder, your local butcher or supermarket will do just fine. Now tear, cut, chop, rip, or do whatever you need to in order to make smaller pieces out of your mushrooms. I'm using about four different kinds of mushrooms today. Feel free to use the mushrooms that you like best, or maybe even try some new ones out. Spread them out in an even layer on a baking sheet and sprinkle the dried thyme over them. Turn your oven on and set it to 425 degrees Fahrenheit. Put the mushrooms in right away on the bottom rack of the oven. Don't wait for it to heat up. Cook them for 10 minutes. While our mushrooms start cooking, we are going to mix together the half and half breadcrumbs and egg in a small bowl. This will give our breadcrumbs a one-way ticket to Hydrationville and make our end product much more moist. Things are getting a little dicey with the onion. After the first 10 minutes in the oven, we're just going to toss the mushrooms around a bit and put them back in for another 10 to 15 minutes. Time to get our lube on. Go ahead and thoroughly lube up your nine by five by two inch loaf pan. Don't waste it. Rub it into your hands for skin softer than cashmere. When the mushrooms have lost a good amount of water and just start to brown, take them out and set them aside. Lower the oven temperature to 400 degrees Fahrenheit. All right, I love this part. In goes the seasonings and the salt. Our freshly chopped garlic. The mushrooms that we roasted to perfection. Our dicey little onion. and our beautifully hydrated and ready to roll breadcrumb mix. Now don't be scared, get in there and get dirty. Mix it up until everything is thoroughly combined. Slap your loaf mix right into your lubed up vessel, pushing it down to remove any and all air pockets. Cut one tablespoon of butter into four pieces and lay them directly on top of the loafer. Place it on a liner and bake it for one hour and 10 minutes, rotating it halfway through. While that bad boy cooks away in the oven, we're going to start our gravy by melting the butter in a small pot over medium heat. Add in the flour and keep stirring while you cook it for about one minute. Pour in the stock in small intervals, whisking in between until fully smooth before adding more stock.
throw in the Worcestershire sauce, the seasonings, and salt. In goes the cream, and now we will bring it to a boil, stirring occasionally. Reduce the heat to a simmer and cook the gravy for a few minutes until it starts to thicken. As we learned in the last meatloaf video, when the sauce can hold to a spoon, it is ready to go. That meatloaf's so purty, it'll make you want to slap your mama. Don't do that. Just wrap it in plastic and let it sit for half an hour before slicing. Time to carve. This is super juicy. Plate it up and smother it in a warm blanket of liquid love that is our gravy. What do we want? Better meatloaf! When do we want it? Now! Enjoy this recipe, my friends, and let me know what you thought about it in the comments. If you liked today's video, hit that subscribe button and click the bell. Thank you so much for watching, many mahalas and much aloha.